Is the time right now and strategists say there is still a chance for a phase one trade deal between the U.S. and China. This is a deal that would be the only way of stopping tariffs from being imposed on December 15th, something that could affect companies like Apple, who's building products in China and possibly means the higher costs could carry on to you, the buyer. But President Trump says Apple is going to keep jobs in America. He made that announcement during a visit to the Flex Manufacturing Facility in Northwest Austin yesterday, where Apple's Mac Pro computers are assembled. In an exclusive interview, KXAN's Phil Prison spoke to the president and Apple CEO Tim Cook. Here's what's important to note for you. If those 15% increase in tariffs go on Apple products like the iPhone and the iPad, well, that means it's going to be more expensive for you at the store. President Trump says he's using these tariffs to bring China his way on a trade deal. Well, it depends on what happens with China if they make a deal. Right now, China wants to make the deal much more than I do. On December 15th, more items from China will face an additional 15% tax. Those tariffs are usually passed down to the consumer. When I asked the president about that, he says that's a trade-off for getting products built in America. You've heard this argument before about with tariffs that it could raise the prices on some products, but it, in, in the effort to encourage jobs in America, you're okay with that deal? Well, we have the best unemployment numbers and employment numbers that we've ever had in our country, in the history of our country. Uh, African-American, Hispanic-American, uh, Asian-American, women. Now it's the best in 71 years for women. He said he's still thinking about the tariffs on the other products like the iPod, the iPad. Does that worry you at all? Well, I, I hope that it doesn't come to pass, but it's, it's the president's decision. While Apple CEO Tim Cook doesn't want to get caught in this tariff trade war, he says he's proud the Mac Pro will be assembled in Austin and that they broke ground on a 3 million square foot site. Phil Prazen, KXAN News.